Expo going into new computer art project here and what we're trying to do today is create sort of a self-portrait piece that shows rhythm and so rhythm can be showed in an art piece by you know having something that repeats but has variety to it and so we got kind of nice rhythm going on with this piece here and what you'll need to get started is five pictures of yourself, preferably full body pictures. And so once you've taken five pictures of different poses, um, you're ready to go. Make sure that you kind of have space between like your arms and legs is kind of a good thing. If your arms and legs are like really close together, um, not going to make for a very interesting uh, piece. So just keep that in mind as we get started. So I'm uh, going to toggle back to home and go ahead and create a new project. Uh, we'll choose full HD and we'll put the name in as Rhythm and then we'll sit, say create. So um, once you've taken your photos, email them to yourself and then you'll want to download them to your laptop or your computer. And then you'll just go ahead and go file open image and we will choose to open the photos wherever they happen to be. Um, if they're in your downloads folder on your computer, mine are in a pictures folder um, because I took these using the photo booth on my laptop. So um, they went into a pictures folder. If you take them on your phone and email them to yourself and download them, they're probably in your downloads folder. Anyways, I'm going to select all of these by holding shift and then clicking on the top or bottom one and then hitting open. And it's gonna open all of them, each one in a separate window. So what I'm gonna do is select this photo, copy and paste it into my other rhythm tab. So I'm gonna hit command A to select all and then command C to copy then go to my rhythm tab and hit command V and paste it in. All right. And then I'll just go down the line and do the same thing with all of them. So command A to select all, command C to copy, and then command V to paste in. All right. And I'll just go ahead and do maybe one more, just for example's sake. So command C and then here command V. Okay. Um, so let's go over um, also, I'm just going to close out the rest of these. You know, you again, you would go Command A, Command C, and then um, you could close the tab, and then we'll put it in as Command V. Um, and then maybe I'll do this one. I'll do this one with a silhouette, and then I'll jump back over into my little more completed project and kind of explain the process for finishing. So, all right, so let's say I'm gonna take this photo and turn it into a silhouette. So you got all five of your photos kind of lined up and we'll work on one at a time. So we're gonna need our lasso tool and I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso. You may have better luck using the polygonal lasso um, for this, but I think the magnetic lasso, lasso should probably work for most people. Um, make sure your mode is on new selection. We will do a little bit of adding and removing though in order to get this right. Um, size 50 is good, feather should be zero. So um, just kind of click with your magnetic lasso and then follow the outline of your body going around. As you can see, I try to take the photos in front of a pretty basic white, uh, just like a flat colored background. And so that uh, should make it better for me to get the selection going around a little more accurately. Now I am zoomed out pretty far, and so I'm suspecting I'm gonna have some areas that I'm gonna wanna edit and clean up um, after I get through here. And so, just gonna go along the edge here with the legs and the feet. And then when I get back to the starting point, I'm going to click once and that closes up my selection area. So now I'll go ahead and take my zoom tool, kind of zoom in really close here and look and see how I did with getting my selection close. So I wanna make some edits to my selection area. So I'm gonna take my regular free lasso and first I'll start with doing some uh, add to selections um, for areas that I wanna add. So if I wanna add like this part where I missed here, I can just kind of do like a click drag section there to lasso that and pull that back in. Um, let's see any other areas I wanna add to my selection. So if I go over that edge of the elbow, then I can get that back. Maybe this uh, shoulder, just go outside and then click drag, bring it down. Um, now maybe I want to do some remove from selections, right? So maybe this area here by this shoulder, just kind of clicking, dragging, making a line that uh, will go in between that area and what you want to keep and what you want to remove. So um, this is like a pretty good, um, it doesn't have to be like exactly on the money uh, to the entire outline, 
you know, it's just a silhouette. So whoops, that got away from me for a little bit there. So, but as I was saying, you know, it doesn't have to be every little bit um, exact. I mean, you want to get the go a good shape, definitely on things like the arms and hands and the head. Um, I think the legs can sort of be left like a little rough sometimes, but I'm just kind of cutting away some of these little extra shapes here, and that looks pretty good. Um, I will want to make sure I uh, kind of subtract this area right here between the legs, make sure that that is an open area, and cool. So now I can zoom out a little bit and ready to do the action where I turn this into a silhouette. So what you're going to do at this point now is create a new layer, an empty layer, right above the image because you don't want to fill directly on the image layer because then you can't really separate the image from the background. So got to be on a new layer. I'm going to take my fill bucket, uh, whatever color I have is fine for now, and just going to click to fill. And so then hit Command D. And there we go, I have one done. So I could hide this image that's underneath it. Um, you could delete this image, this image layer. If you think your silhouette looks pretty good and you don't really need it underneath there anymore, you could delete it. And then um, I'll just clear out, or just make these other ones invisible too, just so I can see what I got a little bit better. Um, all right, so this would be kind of like one that's pretty good and set. So the next part would be that I want to make sure I show you is how to do the shadow that's underneath them, right? So I got one guy here and I'm going to do the shadow, kind of convert him and turn it into a shadow as well, okay? So what I need to do is duplicate this layer. I'll go uh, click on the three dots here. I'll duplicate the layer. So now I have two of them, one over the other. I'll go ahead and hit edit, transform and flip him horizontally and then just take my arrow cursor tool, drag them down. Oh, did I say flip horizontally? <laughs> my bad. Uh, flip <laughs> vertically. There we go. Flip vertical. There we go. My bad. Um, so now I have this going the opposite way. I just kind of put the feet so that they sort of line up. And then I'm going to change this one's color to gray. So I'm going to click on my color picker, go to gray, say OK, paint bucket and just going to fill this one in. Oops, I might have to click on a layer and then fill that gray. Cool, so there is one pretty much done, right? The shadow layer should go underneath the silhouette layer so that the color is kind of on top, the gray is on the bottom, and you're gonna to wanna to do that for all five of your figures. So maybe now I would go ahead and make the next photo um, appear and then go ahead do the same process with this photo, make the shadow, and then um, you know hide away the image afterwards. So once you get that all done, so ideally you have five figures going across, you got the shadows at the bottom, um, you'll wanna do two last things. So one is to add a fresh layer at the very bottom, drag it all the way down, and just use your paint bucket to fill it white. Um, so you have a basic white background, kind of lets your care, your uh, characters stand out a little more on the white background. I suppose you could make it a color or like a light color if you want. Um, something that contrasts would be best. And then also what we're going to do is add one more layer at the very top. So I'm going to add a new layer here, empty layer. Um, at the very top of all of your silhouettes, all of your shadows, right? So it should go set. Uh, silhouette, shadow, silhouette, shadow, silhouette, shadow. That's what you should see for your project. Then either way, at the very top, we're going to add a little gradient finishing touch here. So clicking on my gradient tool, going to click in the bar here to choose what kind of gradient I want. And the option I have right here, this fifth option, is the one you want. Uh, it should go from gray, uh, white at one end, and then at the other end, you sort of see a checker coming through. That means it's transparent. So I'm going to click on this spot just to check and see that that opacity is at zero. So white to uh, transparent. Now, I suppose actually if you did make your background a color, you would want it to be whatever that color is to transparent. So because my background's white, white will work for this. I'm just going to click and drag up to the feet, basically. And that just kind of puts a light gradient over my shadows so that they kind of fade off the bottom. So that's pretty much all there is to this uh, particular lesson. So hope you guys have fun getting a little creative with your many me rhythm.
type self-portrait project.